Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap Na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas Ang suliranin, hindi laging nandyan Dapat mong harapin kami iyong kasama sa bawat takin Magkaakbay nating lulutasin Dito sa Fernandino Teens TV Ang boses ko ay mahalaga Dito sa Fernandino Teens TV Ikaw lagi ang bida Ang mga Siyang gagabay sa iyong pagkamulat Naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan Maging mapanuri Sundin ng wasto at nararapat Kagandahang nasal ang ipakita Ipadama ang pusong may malasakit Dito sa Fernandino Ating harapin ng walang takot Sasamahan ka ni Fernan At dino ang bagong barkada mo Fernandino Tint TV Uy Nan, ano yung pinapanood mo? Oo nga Nan, napakaseryoso kasi na ang mukha mo habang nanonood eh. Hmm, kagabi kasi na naginip ako, gumagawa raw ako ng paborito kong tsokolate. Hmm. Parang gusto ko nang magmay-ari ng isang napakalaking pagawaan ng tsokolate. Nakunan! Hindi ganun kadaling magpatayo ng malaking pagawaan ng produkto. Oo nga, no? Sa palagay ninyo, ano kaya ang mga preparasyon ang dapat at hindi dapat gawin sa paggawa ng isang produkto? Worry no more, Nan, because Ma'am Diane is to the rescue. Halina't panoorin na natin ang ating teacher lecturer ngayong araw upang masagot ang lahat ng mga tanong mong yan, Nan. Tara, let's, let's watch and learn! learn. Happy and blessed morning, friend and Dino teens. Welcome to another episode of Fun and Learning. I am Mam Dayan, your TLE teacher this morning. Before we start our lesson, I want you to observe the following pictures. These pictures are the examples of hazards in the workplace, which are chemical hazard, physical hazard and biological hazards. These are some of the hazards that we might encounter if we are not careful when we are processing and manufacturing foods. And worst, this might lead to contamination of food. To prevent these hazards, we must implement the hazard analysis critical control point plan, known as the hazard plan in every food manufacturing plan and establishment. For today's virtual learning, our lesson is about Has a plan, the global standard for food safety. 
Before we proceed to our lesson proper, let me share with you the learning objectives you need to attain this morning. Conduct work in accordance with environmental policies and procedures. Explain the importance of implementing the HAZA plan. Alright, let us start our discussion by unlocking the difficulties or unfamiliar words that we will encounter during the discussion. Number one, calibrating is to set or determine the accuracy of the measuring device. Number two, foodborne illness is a kind of illness acquired by eating contaminated foods. Most foodborne diseases are infections caused by a variety of bacteria, viruses, and parasites. Number three, food handlers are the persons who handle food during food production. Four, food safety is the assurance that food will not cause harm to the consumer when it is prepared and eaten according to its intended use. Number five, good grooming is the art of cleaning and maintaining proper and neat appearance of the body. Number six, hygiene is the science of good health that signifies cleanliness and freedom from the risk of infectious disease. For the last word, number seven, hazard is a situation which possesses a level of threat to life, health, property, or environment. Now, let us have a simple activity named Which is which? I will show you a picture. Choose your answer between the two options that will be flashed on the screen. Make sure the answer you have chosen is the option that best describes the picture. Are you excited? Let us start. First picture. The staff is sanitizing the equipment. From the two choices given, which best describes the picture? Is it personal hygiene or food hygiene? If your answer is food hygiene, you are correct. Second picture. The staff is wearing gloves in handling finished products. Is it personal hygiene or food hygiene? It is personal hygiene. Third picture. Proper washing of hands. Is it personal hygiene or food hygiene? If you say personal hygiene, you got it right. Last picture. Washing ingredients thoroughly. Is it personal hygiene or food hygiene? It is food hygiene. Good job! I hope you got all the correct answers. These are the four pictures we have answered earlier. Observe the pictures. What do you think is the difference between food hygiene and personal hygiene? You can answer orally or write your answer on a sheet of paper. Food hygiene is all the conditions and measures that are necessary to ensure the safety and suitability of the food preparation and processing. It also helps to protect the health of the consumers from foodborne illnesses and food poisoning. On the other hand, personal hygiene is the cleanliness of our body and clothing to maintain our well-being and health. This includes washing, bathing, proper care of our mouth, dressing, and keeping our clothes clean. 
We will discuss the HACCP plan and its seven principles when Fernandino Teens TV returns. Stay tuned! Ang Schools Division Office City of San Fernando, Pampanga ay kaisa ng Department of Education sa pagsasagawa ng mga proyekto at programa na tumutugon sa mga pangangailangan ng mga mag-aaral. Inilunsad ang Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors upang magbigay ng educational at psychological assistance sa mga mag-aaral, magulang at stakeholders ng division. Kaya... Kung may nais kayong itanong tungkol sa pag-aaral, maaaring magpadala ng mensahe sa Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors Facebook page o tumawag sa mga numero na makikita sa ibaba ng inyong screen tuwing lunes hanggang biyernes sa ganap na alas 8 ng umaga hanggang alas 6 ng gabi. Maaari rin kayong sumangguni sa ating guidance counselors na nagbibigay ng guidance and counseling services. Lahat ng inyong ibabahagi ay mananatiling confidential. Ang nasabing programa ay nagsisilbiling daan upang malaman ang feedbacks ng stakeholders para matulungan ang ating division na mapagbuti pa ang mga sumusunod na programa. Ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Tumawag na sa aming mga numero o bumisita na sa aming Facebook page at magpadala ng inyong mga katanungan. Fernandino Teens TV We are back, Fernandino Teens. Earlier, we tackled the difference between food hygiene and personal hygiene. Now, let us proceed to the HACCP plan and its seven principles. HACCP stands for Hazard, Analysis, Critical, Control Point. It is an internationally recognized preventative system for ensuring the food being manufactured is safe to consume. The most basic concept for HAZAP is Hazard Prevention. A hazard analysis is a science-based and systematic process to identify specific hazards to our health. A critical control point or CCT is the point, step, or procedure used to control, prevent, eliminate, or reduce food safety hazards at an acceptable level. Let us have the history of HAZAP plan. In the 1960s, HAZAP originated when the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, the Pillsbury Company and the U.S. Army Laboratories collaborated to provide safe food for an upcoming space program. They wanted to make sure that the food being consumed by the astronauts in the space was safe for consumption. Because once they were sent into space, they were no longer able to seek any medical support if needed. In 1974, the Food and Drug Administration or FDA incorporated the basic hazard principles into their food regulations. From then on, several food establishments have incorporated the hazard principle into their food production system. In 1993, the Codex Committee on Food Hygiene recognized HAZAP as the global standard for food safety and published their first HAZAP guidelines, which were later adopted by the Codex Alimentarius Commission. In the year 2000, International Organization for Standardization, ISO 22000, made a major contribution to the food safety management system. HAZAP is a universally recognized system as the most effective way to prevent hazards and foodborne illnesses. This hazard includes 
biological, chemical, or physical hazards. Any food company can implement a hazard plan to reduce the risk and eliminate food hazards in their product. HACCP is based on seven principles. Principle 1. Conduct a hazard analysis. The first step to make the HACCP system be successful for food safety is to identify the probable hazards. This principle involves identifying the potential hazards that may be likely to happen. Let us move to principle 2. Identify the critical control points. A critical control point, or CCP, is a point, step, or procedure used to control, prevent, eliminate, or reduce food safety hazards at an acceptable level. Proper washing of hands is one of the examples of CCP. Another one is refrigerating raw ingredients. Refrigeration helps to slow down the hazardous microorganisms from growing and multiplying. Cooking is a critical control point also. Because at the proper temperature, it can kill germs or pathogens in the food. Principle 3. Establish critical limits. Critical limits or CL ensures that the chemical, biological, or physical hazard is being controlled by CCP. Critical limits can be based on the factors time, temperature, water reactivity, potential of hydrogen, weight, or some other measure that is based on scientific or regulatory standards. For example, the hazard is salmonella in chicken. Its CCP or control measure is cooking. Its critical limits in the cooking step could be 70 degrees Celsius for 2 minutes. The value 70 degrees Celsius and 2 minutes are based on the factors temperature and time. Let us have the fourth principle, monitor critical control points. This step plays a vital role in the food safety management process. Monitoring has three essential purposes. Number one, it helps to determine if there is a loss of control on the critical control points or CCP. Number two, it helps to monitor the operation. Number three, it provides written documentation to verify the corrective actions that have been applied to ensure the safety of the food they have produced. The staff who are assigned to monitor CCPs must be trained and well knowledgeable regarding the goal and importance of this task. Principle five, establish corrective action. Sometimes, Things do not happen according to the plan. This principle is about taking the necessary actions to deal with the existing hazards. Next is principle 6, verification. This principle helps to determine the validity of the hazard plan and if the system is operating according to the plan. The hazard team must follow written verification procedures calibrating their monitoring devices, engaging in any end product testing, review monitoring, and corrective action records within one week of the creation of the records. Last principle, principle 7, record keeping. One of the fundamental components of the HANSA plan is recording information that can be used to prove that the food being manufactured and produced is safe to consume. The information that is needed to record includes information about the hazard plan, hazard team, product description, flow diagrams, the hazard analysis, the CCPs identified, 
critical limits, monitoring system, corrective actions, record keeping procedures, and verification of procedures. All right, let us check your understanding regarding the history and principles of the HAZA plan by having fact or bluff activity. Are you ready, Fernandino teens? Great! Get your pen and paper and write your answer. Number one. HAZAP stands for Hazard Assessment Critical Control Point. Is it a fact or bluff? Correct! The answer is bluff. Number two, one of the examples of critical control point is thorough hand washing. Is it a fact or bluff? Yes, the answer is fact. Number three, in 1993, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration or NASA recognized HACCP as a global standard for food safety. Is it a fact or a bluff? That is right. The answer is bluff. Number four. In 1974, the Food and Drug Administration or FDA incorporated the basic hazard principles into their food regulations. Is it a fact? or bluff? Very good. The answer is fact. Last number, number five. The first principle in the HACCP plan is to establish critical limits. Is it a fact or bluff? Excellent. The answer is bluff. Who got the perfect score? You did a great job! Now, you already learned the HACCP plan is seven principles. Meanwhile, we will discuss its prerequisite program, the good manufacturing practices, when Fernandino Teens TV returns. Stay tuned! Maya po oras kaya kayo, Fernandinos. Ako pala ay Elwin Arlserano ng City Tourism Office ng Ciudad San Fernando. Ngayon yung bulan na ini, pag masusyan tayo yung National Heritage Month na ating temang Victory and Humanity Upholding Filipino Heritage and Identity. Kambe na nini, metong ka rin aktibidades na yung syudad at yung launching ng Bayong Heritage Passport. Yung Heritage Passport, apin yung metong ka rin proyekto ng kaya katamong syudad yung pamanamuna ng Mayor Edwin D. Santiago. Anong no ka rin makalagelangan din eganagan ng heritage sites Heritage Structures na akit tamo kin kay katamong Heritage District. Makakaya daw din kay ni, ding importansya daw ding mapin na tradisyon kay ni syudad, kalupa yung pamangawang parol, ang po yung pamangalesa. May aho siyang Heritage Passport, uling atin kang dapat gawan, anong nuka rin puntalan mo na ding at syukin passport, at saka ka mag-selfie, kay ba't kanta palto making tourism office, at mamielang sticker ka rin ega na ganang apuntulan mong lugar. At di mong may ngari ang tutong passport. Balumin nga ni, panahon na ini, eh tamo makain bisa lumal, uli na ng COVID-19 pandemic. Kaya naman kimbanwa nga ini, agkatan ko lading bikers tamo, edad 18 hanggang 50, imbis na lumaot kayo po, di na nyo lang dita ka oras di kaya katamong heritage structures, Kenny Shudan. Anya naman ka rin mumun ang 50 bikers ang makayari kay Katamang Heritage Passport, may dinan lang premium only San Fernando loot bag. Inggawan nyo mo bakang ta makapag-register, munta kayo mismo opisina na ng City Tourism, yung munisipyo, at saka kayo magdalang metong valid ID. Kabihan ninyo kayo Heritage Passport, ating makasipit ang instruction nung nano pa yung dapat gawan. Anya naman ka rin hanggang kapadyak yan. Nanano ko pa. Tara na!
Fernandino Teens TV. You are still watching Fernandino Teens TV. Earlier, we discussed the HAZA plan and its seven principles. Now, let us proceed to the HAZA prerequisite program, which is the Good Manufacturing Practices or GMP. Good Manufacturing Practices or GMPs are the environmental and operational conditions that are required to produce food safely. It ensures that the raw ingredients and materials used in the product are handled safe and the food products are processed in a suitable environment. The following are the GMP requirements on personal hygiene. Number 1. Health status People known or suspected to be suffering from or to be a carrier of a disease should not be allowed to enter any food processing area. Any person affected should immediately report illness or symptoms of illness to the management. Medical examination of a food handler should be carried out immediately. Number 2. Personal Cleanliness Food handlers should maintain a high degree of personal cleanliness. They should wear suitable and protective clothing inside the food processing area and while performing food processing activities. Now, we will be having a game named State It Right. I will show you pictures of the appropriate food processor's clothing. All you must do is to state and give its use, purpose, or function. You can answer orally or write your answer on a sheet of paper. Number 1 Aprons What do you think is the purpose of wearing an apron? Aprons are the food safety tool for food handlers and food processors. It must be clean, changed frequently, worn over clean clothes, and removed before leaving the food processing area or before using the restroom. Number 2. Gloves. Why do we need to wear gloves when processing and handling foods? Wearing gloves is one way of reducing foodborne illnesses. It helps to lessen the risk of spreading germs and diseases, and it covers up the remaining bacteria on our skin left after washing our hands. Number 3. Hairnets. What is the purpose of wearing hairnet while doing food processing activities? Her nets serve two purposes. First, it secures our hair from falling or touching exposed food. Second, to refrain personal's hands in touching their hair. If you are a food handler, it is also necessary to tie back your hair. Hair should be pulled back especially those who have long hair and should fully place it under a hairnet. No excess hair must be sticking out. If hair is not tied back or covered, it can fall into the food you are handling. This can spread bacteria to food, especially if it is unwrapped with packaging materials. Number 4. Hand Towels what is the use of hand towels? Hand towels are used to absorb liquids such as water. They are also used to wipe spills, dry our hands, clean off utensils, dry dishes, and even hold hot equipment, utensils, and dishes. To deepen your understanding with our topic, let us watch this video. Today, Adder Divine will show to us the do's and don'ts in personal protective equipment 
or PPE for food handlers. Proper cleaning and washing of hands with soap and water. Fingernails must be kept short and without nail polish. Remove all personal belongings such as jewelries before entering food manufacturing area. Proper wearing of face masks. Foot handlers should tie back their hair, especially those who have long hair, and must fully place it under a hairnet. Number 3. Proper hand washing As a food handler, why is it important to wash your hands thoroughly? Brilliant! Hand washing is vital, especially to food handlers to prevent foodborne illnesses and contamination of food. Harmful bacteria and viruses that are present on the hands can be removed by following the proper hand washing techniques. As a food handler, make sure that you always wash your hands and arms before you enter and exit the production area. This should take place in a designated hand washing station. We need to wash our hands at the start of food handling activities, immediately after using the toilet, and after handling raw food or any contaminated material that could result in the contamination of other food items. In this time of pandemic, why is it essential to regularly wash our hands? Great! Frequent and proper hand washing is one of the most important safety measures and protocols that can be used to prevent being infected with the COVID-19 virus. 
thorough washing of hands can help preventing illnesses and spreading infections to others. Number four, personal behavior or habits. People who are engaged in food handling activities should refrain from bad habits and behavior that could result in food contamination, such as smoking, spitting, chewing or eating, sneezing or coughing over unprotected food. All personnel must follow GMP requirements. It can help to prevent bad habits and behavior. To help remind personnel of the GMP requirements, there must be signs posted around the food manufacturing area like the signs I have shown to you earlier. Marking and posting GMPs on where they are performed can help easily reinforce the knowledge and practice. More of our good manufacturing practices after a short break. So do not go away, we will be right back. Magtanim ay di biro, pero para sa retired teacher na si Mang Tomas Gamboa, isa itong pangarap na matagal na niyang inaasam na anihin. Kaya naman sa 500 square meter lot na ito sa Florida Blanca, Pampanga, unti-unti niyang tinamnan at pinalago ang naipong kita sa mahigit 20 taon niyang pagtuturo. Kaya, tara na pasukin ang paraiso ng ating bidang guro. Welcome to Mate Garden Park, para... Mula sa makukulay na disenyo hanggang sa iba't ibang klase ng planting methods, makikita yan sa personal gulayan na tinawag nilang Modern Agriculture Farm Edition. Talaga namang binuhos ni Mang Tomas ang kanyang expertise sa pagtatanim at syempre, hindi mawawala ang pagiging resourceful ng ating resident planter. Yung paggamit ng mga material sa pagtatanim, iba-iba. May plastic, may gulong, may sako, may borde, lahat ng klase ng borde na pwedeng gamitan, ginamit ko na. Experimental ang approach ni Mang Tomas, pero pagdating sa soil mixing, organic ang swak na soil mixture na approved sa ating green thumb. Pinagahalo lang ang saw soil, top soil, ipa, at carabal manure para sa optimum growth ng mga healthy veggies. Halos lahat pa ng mga gulay sa kantang bahay kubo, present din dito sa kanyang lupain. Kaya naman ang buong pamilya ni Mang Tomas, hanggang sa mga apo niya, enjoy sa pag-harvest at pag-aalaga ng Mafe Garden Farm na ipinangalan niya pa sa kanyang mga anak. Na kayo, siyempre, di ba, mahilig kayo magluto. Oh. Ano pong naging ambag nito? Uh, nung mula nung tinay ito, natuto kami lagi mamasyal dito, lagi nagluto, dala-dala lang yung mga pagkain. Dito kami nagpipiknik. At itong mape, na sinasabi, ito'y pag-aaritan dalawa kong anak. Ibinibigay ko sa kanila. Legado. Ako ang magiging caretaker nila. Yung mape. Ang kalinga ng isang ama, ramdam hindi lang sa pamilya, kundi sa mga paninim niya. Kaya naman ngayong pandemya, make yourself busy, bawasan ang stress, at mas maging productive sa tulong ng pagtatanim para may dagdaghain na rin. Kaya para sa mga plantitos at plantitas na gustong i-level up ang planting skills, papayo ko sa mga kasama kong natarit, lalo sa mga teachers na hindi major ng agriculture, Pwede kayong kumuha ng background sa Facebook. Pangalawa, kung konti lang yung pera nyo na ipon, pwede kayong kumuha ng 200 to 300 square meter at pakonti-konti, pwede kayong magtanim. Na kinakailangan ng pang-araw-araw na gamitan sa kusina. At makakalibang pa sa pansalili mo. Para sa Balita Pampanga, Gerald Gloton.
Fernandino Teens TV. You are still watching Fernandino Teens TV. This time, we're going to have the last GMP, which is the entrance and exit in a workplace. All entrances and exits must be provided with screen doors swinging outward just like in the pictures. Signs of entrance and exit must be posted in the corresponding areas. Some organizations require thorough washing of hand and foot bath before entry into a work area. Wear appropriate work attire before entry. Deposit them at designated areas of an exit from the food processing area. Alright, so those are the good manufacturing practices that food handlers must apply when they are inside the food manufacturing area and while performing food processing activities. Now you have already learned the HACCP plan, its seven principles, and its prerequisite program, Good Manufacturing Practices. For your insights, what is the importance of implementing the hazard analysis and critical control point or HACCP system in every food manufacturing company? Job well done. It seems that you really understand the lesson. Implementing the HACCP plan in the food industry is essential because it controls major food risks such as microbiological, chemical, and physical hazards. If any of these hazards are not carefully controlled or the HACCP plan has not been implemented, the food products may become contaminated and unsafe for the consumers to eat. For us to assess what you have learned in this learning episode, I prepared an evaluation activity. Do you still remember the HACCP principles and its prerequisite program, Good Manufacturing Practices? Let us find out by having an activity. In the first activity named, Fill Me In. You are going to identify the principles of the HACCP plan by completing the letters on the box. Are you ready? Great! Number one, this principle of the HACCP plan can be applied to prevent, eliminate, or reduce a hazard to an acceptable level. If your answer is, identify the critical control points, your answer is, Correct. Number two, this principle helps to determine the validity of the HACCP plan and if the system is operating according to the plan. Very good. The answer is verification. Number three, this principle of the HACCP plan is needed to take necessary actions to deal with the existing hazards. Excellent! The answer is Establish corrective action. Number four, this principle of hazard plan is used to differentiate between safe and unsafe conditions at a critical control point. Precisely! The answer is Establish critical limits. Number five. This principle of hazard plan involves listing the steps of the process and identifying potential hazards that may likely to occur. Brilliant. The answer is conduct a hazard analysis. Now, let us have our last activity, which is thumbs up and thumbs down. In this activity, answer thumbs up if the statement is correct and thumbs down if it is wrong. You can answer orally or type your answer in the comment section. 
number one. Food handlers should maintain a high degree of personal cleanliness. Is it thumbs up or thumbs down? Correct. The answer is thumbs up. Number two. Hands should be washed only after using the toilet. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Good job! Thumbs down. Number three. People suffering from or a career of a disease should not be allowed to enter any food handling area. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Great! The answer is thumbs up. Number four. An apron or a laboratory gown that is fitted, cleaned, and pressed must be worn while preparing processed foods. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Precisely, thumbs up. Lastly, number five. Smoking or spitting anywhere is allowed during food preparation. Thumbs up or thumbs down? That is right, thumbs down. That is the end of our activity. Did you get all the correct answers? Excellent, Fernandino teens. Implementing the HACCP system is a must, especially in the food industry because it prioritizes and focuses on the controls and prevention of the potential hazards that may occur during the process. Through the HACCP plan, it can prove that the food being processed and produced is guaranteed safe. It also helps businesses to have an effective system in producing their products safely. And that is the end of my presentation. I hope you learned a lot today. Here are the references I used in this learning episode. Again, I am Mam Yalung, your TLE teacher on screen. Keep tuning in at Fernandino Teens TV na kung saan ang boses mo ay mahalaga, ang edukasyon nyo ay sigurado na. Thank you for watching. Keep safe everyone and God bless us. O oh, ayan man, alam na natin kung ano ang mga dapat isaalang-alang at kung ano ang mga dapat o hindi dapat gawin kapag nagpoproseso ng mga produkto. Oo nga, Fer. Hindi pala ganun kadali, no? Napakahalaga na ipatupad at sundin ng isang kumpanya ang HACCP system upang masiguro na ligtas at dekalidad ang mga produktong kanilang ginagawa. Kaya naman, maraming, maraming salamat, salamat ma'am! Ma Isa na namang makabulhang talakayan ng ating natunghayan, Fernandino Teens. Magkita-kita tayong muli sa susunod na episode ng Fernandino TV na kung saan ang kabataang Fernandino ay angat sa angking talino. Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap Na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas Ang suliranin, hindi laging nandyan Dapat mong harapin kami iyong kasama sa bawat takin Magkaakbay nating lulutasin Dito sa Pagkabay sa iyong pagkamulat Naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan 
maging mapanuri.